can mean back in the car for young drivers, and there's a lot that they need to do to make sure that they're safe. Owen Murray is here from Car Checks with wonderful tips, and I was telling you that this has been on my list to make sure that my daughter is ready when school starts, and I've done nothing. Well, today's a good day to start. All right, so tell me what she, what she needs in her car and what young drivers need in their well, cars. Well, first and foremost, the most important thing to start out with is to have the vehicle checked out by a certified mechanic. Right. So you want to make sure that the tires are in good condition, the uh, wheels are in good condition, windshield wipers, wiper, fluid itself, uh, having the oil change recently before you send them off to school on their trips, however far they're going. You want to make sure that the vehicle is in good condition. These synthetic oils now, you don't need to change them as much. I mean, in my mind, I'm always 3,000 miles, but it's like 6 or 10 now? That is correct. That is correct. But you still want to make sure that they are changed and up to par before you send them off. Because if any, God forbid, anything happened on the side of the road, you know, I know. they'll be prepared and so on and so forth. Yeah, that oil's throwing me off. <laughs> throwing me off. All right, so what, what else do we need to do, Ellen? Well, there's some things, uh, obviously, you want to make sure that you have in your vehicle, just in case there yep. is an emergency. Um, one out of five accidents happen from distractions, and so mm -hmm. if you do have a distraction and something happens, you just want to make sure you're prepared. Okay. Um, charger for yes. your cell phone. Yeah. Obviously, you want to make sure that your teens are aware of the vehicle. So when you are going through these things, having them done, you want to make sure you're getting your teen involved so they know the anatomy of the vehicle that I they're driving. Know. So Well, oftentimes in the driver's ed classes, they'll go through that. Correct. And on that note, you should try to set, sign them up for like a safety course because it'll also give you some um, discounts on your insurance as well. All right, we got one minute here. So a flashlight, of course. Flashlight, um, owner's manual so they understand it, a jack, and know how to use it. Definitely want to teach them how to use it. Well, it's very important. Well, I know. A jack and how to use it. Jump for cables. Yeah. Some perishable of foods. Uh, water. Non perishable. Non perishable. I'm sorry. Non perishable. I have perishable <laughs> foods in my car. They're under the seats. Okay. First aid kit. Tire pressure gauge in case they had a flat. Yes. Something that can blow the tires up. And yep. in case they're by themselves, a, a small jumper box. So if they can jump the vehicle on their own, they don't need someone else to help them with the jumper cables. So we have to teach them how to do these that things. That is correct. Right? Hence the very important that you get your kids involved when doing it. All right. So say you only had time to do one thing. What would be that one thing? Teach them how to check the oil and change the tire. Excellent. Okay. Two things. Actually. Maybe you ought to swing by our house a little bit later. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Car Thank got us set for back to school. All right.